Are you getting all kinds of spam emails that are asking you to buy this and subscribe to that and other scams uh, threatening different actions to take against you legally or on your computer that are all scams and just tying up your inbox? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can stop spam. Coming right up. Okay, so first off, from the title and everything here, there really is no way to stop spam. You can control it, manage it. There's all kinds of tools and things out there. I'm going to show you a few things in this video. But anybody that says they can stop spam is outright lying because you cannot stop it. You can only filter it and have it automatically managed one way or another. And one of the things to always keep in mind is that you want to have control over managing it because if it's filtered at a top level that you're not looking at just because you don't want to see it you don't even want to look in your junk folder and see the junk you just don't want it coming to you at all there's certain assumptions that need to be made by the systems that are managing your junk and it could block legitimate messages and you will never get those emails and then you'll be wondering why you missed out on something very important especially if it's for business and you just missed out on a sale because your spam filter blocked it and you just don't want to deal with managing the spam so you do need to put some sort of effort into this and managing it and um, unless you're paying for some advanced service that can do a lot of the filtering for you but even then you're gonna wanna check it once in a while because it takes time for it to learn and educate itself to figure out what to block so let's have a look at a couple of things here so with the various programs depending on what you're using now you could be using an email program like Outlook or you could be using webmail like Gmail and other third-party tools so let's have a look uh, at Outlook for example here uh, this is a business tool that uh, to have your emails come in through if you right click on any message go down to junk you'll see a few different options here so we've got block sender to block that particular email address now one of the problems with that is that a lot of spammers will be constantly changing the email address that they send from so you'll block that email address but next time they send you a message it's going to come from a different address so then you'll block that one and then the cycle continues so you'll forever be constantly trying to block and you will never stop them because they keep changing their email address now there's other ways of blocking it um, based on rules and uh, filtering levels so we're gonna look at that in a moment now besides blocking the sender if you're looking in your junk folder and going through this procedure you'll see that uh, something legitimate got caught so you can tell it to never block that particular email address or if it's that person's domain so anybody at uh, let's say uh, Microsoft.com you don't want to block that or twinbytes.ca for example now your gmail.com you wouldn't want to say to allow or never block anyone from gmail.com because that's that could be anybody it can be the spammers and all that they're using that as well so you don't want to use a generic uh, thing like gmail.com yahoo rogers uh, any hosting company or internet service provider that's just not that's opening the door to allow everyone in the world to email you so um, you could then and just say not to block that specific person at gmail.com not everybody at gmail 
All right, moving on, never block this grouper mailing list. So if you've got a particular mailing list that you're on or a group that uh, you belong to and that's going to junk, then you could tell it to not block that. And of course, if you're in junk and you're highlighting a junk message, which I'm not right now, that's why it's grayed out, that would be available and you can just say, for just this one time right now, this is not junk so just not to mark that as junk and it'll put it back into your inbox then we've got the junk email options so let's look in here now this is in outlook.com they're all going to be different uh, for the different programs but with outlook um, right now I have it turned off because I'm using a different filter so and I'll show you that in a moment so here you could say don't filter anything because you're going to use something else or you just don't want it to filter anything because it seems to be too high uh, blocking legitimate things for you you could tell it to have it on low and move just the most obvious junk to your junk folder or crank it up to high if it's really annoying and not blocking enough then crank it up and to go to an extreme measure you can say safe list only so everything will go to junk unless you add those specific people to your safe senders list so um, only people or domains on your safe senders list so you could say everyone at microsoft.com or twinbytes.ca then anyone from with an email address at one of those domains would be allowed to send to you rather than specify every single one now there's also permanently delete suspected suspected junk email instead of moving it to the junk email folder I would never recommend doing that because of what I said in the beginning that legitimate messages could be blocked are going to junk so if you have a legitimate message that gets caught as junk which I've had multiple times it would have permanently deleted and you'd never see it I've had clients send forward me an email that they got that was spam or maybe it didn't go to their spam folder but they just forwarded it to me anyway asking me is this spam well of course it is it went to my spam folder I'm not sure if it went to theirs but it went to mine and I'd look at it a little more closely to make sure it really is spam and I'd verify it's spam and of course be able to reply to it but I couldn't reply while it's in the junk folder I had to move that back into my inbox so I had to tell it that it's not junk in this one particular case and then I could reply to them and tell them yeah it's junk just ignore it uh, there's other options on here as well if you have this turned on uh, it's grayed out for me because I I've got the filtering turned off if I turn this on then you can say disable the links and other functionality and phishing messages which is recommended uh, of course I recommend that and warn about suspicious domain names and email addresses I also recommend leaving that on as well so I'm gonna leave mine off because I'm not using this program now let's have a look here safe senders you can list all the different email addresses or domain names from people on your uh, safe senders list they'll never be treated as junk so if I want it to um, well let's see here first also trust email from my contacts so if they're in my contacts list it'll trust them and if you want to automatically add people to the that you email or reply to they'll automatically be added to your safe senders list you can check that on and they'll automatically get added um, now that might not work out well for you if you don't want every single person on there so if we go to add you can manually add in uh, for example let's say you don't want to block any emails coming from me if I can spell properly then I would just type in my whole email address but if you want to make sure everyone at my company is able to come through to your inbox then just put at 
and then the name of the domain. So at twinbytes.ca or at microsoft.com. And then that will allow those to come through. And of course you can edit and remove people from the list and you can import a list from a file if you've got one or export this list to a file that you want to import onto another computer. The safe recipients list now. Emails sent to the emails or domain names on your safe recipients list will never be treated as junk. Box senders is the opposite where uh, email from those email addresses or domains on your block senders list will always be treated as junk. So the um, you've got the safe senders and then the blocked senders. So you can block those people from uh, emailing you and it'll just go straight to your junk. And then there's uh, international setting and this you can block top level domains or use some other type of encoding list which really gets advanced here now but uh, the top level domain for example if you would never get emails outside of Canada or the US and you're getting stuff from other country domain names then uh, like they're showing here top level domain codes such as .ca for Canada or um, .us for the states, I'm not sure what MX is now, um, but if we go into the top domain list you can see what all of these are. So just out of curiosity if we scroll down and see what is MX they're talking about. Mexico, should have guessed, um, but what you'll find here is a whole slew of countries. So this is your top level domain. So if you never expect to get emails from anyone like this, um, then you could literally select all and then just go through and unblock Canada and then go down to uh, the US and unblock the US so that should cover everything now but if you happen to have a supplier or a customer that's outside of that area then that one time you're going to be expecting something that's going to be blocked you'll you're not going to get those messages so it's up to you but you can use that at your own risk this is a very advanced uh, or very aggressive method all right so let's get out of here and have a look at the other program now in mine at the top here because i'm using the avast uh, spam filter on mine I can mark a message as spam, or if it's in my junk, I can say that particular message is not spam. I can add it to the blacklist or add it to the whitelist. Uh, so it would be safe senders or blocked. Now, let's, if we go into the program, it's, if I go in the program, I can see that I've got my anti-spam filter turned on, and I can go into the settings here and see how, what level it's at so I have it at strict it could be at relax strict or no mercy they call it which uh, sounds kind of hilarious um, marking the subject of the messages that are spam as spam with uh, little asterisk symbols around it and any message that's detected as phishing will have phishing tagged on the beginning of the subject so that way you can identify right away if it's a regular spam message or if it's a phishing attempt so this will um, take care of that for you now you can also add specific email addresses or domains from here the same as what we had uh, in the outlook features and there is the allowed list and the block list and I don't have anybody specifically on there I just have it handling things automatically so it's using its own built-in intelligence to figure out what spam and what isn't you can also add any of these other options on here as well 
uh, recipients of outbound emails and domains to anti-spam whitelist automatically so if you're sending a message it would add them to your whitelist automatically they're assuming that you're not going to reply to a spammer because if you do that then you would be adding them on and adding entries from the address book to the whitelist automatically this only applies if you're using Outlook which I am and then you can have this happen as well automatically maybe you're not using Outlook but some other program so we'll have a look at something else like Gmail for example so if you go into your Gmail program and click up on the gear in the top right here and go to settings it'll take you in here in the general tab you want to go over to filters and blocked addresses and this is where you can start to uh, manage emails and block them and uh, filter from here uh, the one thing I notice is that they don't have a, a filter level that will filter the mail for you uh, where you can set it to high low and medium all you can do is create a filter and say uh, an email from anyone with a certain subject or certain words in the um, body of the email or it doesn't have something or a size that's greater than or less than a certain size of megabytes or kilobytes or whatever uh, or something that has an attachment then you can create a filter and say what do you want to do with that message and then you can have it go to junk or have it automatically filed to a certain folder so with Gmail it seems they just don't really offer you the filtering on there because there's uh, there's nothing on here that I could find uh, it's more of a manual filtering so I'll have to go into my inbox so if I had a particular message that I wanted to uh, mark as spam I can highlight that and then at the top there's a little stop sign looking shape icon with an exclamation mark on it, it says report spam and then that will mark it in the spam folder and I can maybe do that and if I go and look at my spam I got my message in here so then I can go back in here and say it's not spam and that's about the extent of the spam features that I found in here there's uh, nothing else that they seem to give you for managing this spam which is a little upsetting for anybody that just wants to use Gmail and um, it, it's just gonna automatically make assumptions if something is spam maybe if they turn that on or off it's completely up to them and they have full control over that but whether you're using Outlook or a third party add-on like I had with the Avast spam filtering or using Gmail or any other webmail type email that whatever spam filtering they have if they have something to turn it on from low to high or anything in between or managing what's on your whitelist and blacklist and that sort of thing there are other programs or services out there that you can tie into this as well and they can become a little bit more costly but they can have a high level of intelligence and in automatically figuring out what's spam and what's not and it looks at your behaviors and how you're managing your emails to figure out what is legitimate and what isn't and then it can make us better and better assumptions over time as to how to manage the spam but these are free tools that come with the Outlook or Webmail or um, your antivirus program if it's got spam filtering that comes with it and that's about it so really the bottom line is you can't stop spam there is no stopping it all you can do is try and reduce it manage it the best way you can automate things a bit more and don't respond to any spam messages you get by unsubscribing or telling them not to send it to you because that will only 
confirm that you're on that mailing list, confirm that you're an active email address that you really are checking your emails and then they'll be able to put that out to everyone else saying yes we have a mailing list and we've confirmed that they're active emails because they have responded to the emails as well so don't respond to them crank up your spam filters manage it see how it works for you and hopefully you don't get too many more spam messages so that's it for this tech tutorial if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me out with the algorithms on google and makes it all worthwhile to continue to make more tech tutorials for you guys and please do ask comment uh, ask questions in the comments below and give me suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see all right thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one bye for now